Yeah, hello to anybody who stumbled across this video. <clears throat> See, it's a beautiful day out, 66. It's supposed to get up to 74, but it's almost noon now. <clears throat> and uh, by 2 or 3 o'clock, the temperature really starts to drop. I'm, like I said, I live in Wisconsin. So I decided, and then tomorrow's supposed to be rainy and 56, and the rest of the week's supposed to be in the 50s too. So I think it's time I put the bike away. I went ahead and washed it and didn't get a chance to wax it because it wasn't, I did it yesterday and it wasn't really, it was cloudy out. So I just washed it really good, got all the bugs off of it, topped off the tank. So it's time to put it away. As you can see, I'm not, not going to be able to tell, this is the seat. I had that Chase Harper saddle bag on here or tail bag on here and I got rid of it. I sent it right back that thing was a pile of junk the bag seemed pretty good but the strapping system was just horrible and as you can see in my last video you know what a joke that was I mean why would you put velcro straps so they go underneath the seat then you'd have to take the seat off to uh wash the bike you know who the hell wants to do that two or three times a week so I just got rid of it. I ordered are gonna order another one here next month or two and I'll do a quick video on that one. I might even mount it on the bike so it's ready to go. But it's the same one it's almost like the first one I had, that Kima or Mato or whatever that one is. Same buckling system. So you can just unsnap it, take it off, leave the buckles on, you're gonna take the seat off. So it's a little more expensive. That, that one's like $120, the new one I'm getting. And um, I think it had a warranty. I'm pretty sure it did, or I went to put it in the Amazon shopping cart, so I'm sure it has a warranty on it. I'm going to check before I buy it again. But, and so and it's bigger than that, the first tailbag I had. But um, I don't know if I can show you this. Or if, if you guys are gonna be able to see this, do you see that wear on here? Let me see if I can. See that wear on the tire? Now, the front's doing the same thing, right in the center. Those tires probably got. See, I put 12,000 miles on this bike. There's actually like 12,002 miles. So I put 12,002 miles on the bike. And uh, it, like when I took it in for the, the service and had other things put on it, the tires looked just like that too. At 20, I think 20, let's just say 2,800 miles on the bike. And tires looked just like that. So they were worried and they said the tires were wearing funny. I, I discussed that and then put new tires on it. And it wasn't even three or four weeks later, then, you know, they're looking like this again. They weren't even, I don't know how many miles, but about three or four weeks, that pattern started to show up. Now, I've seen one other video where somebody else said, oh, the tires wear out fast. I mean, is that a tire? Is it the flaw of a tire? Or, I don't know what's going on. If anybody... If anybody watches this, you know, if you have any opinions, boy, I sure like to know what it is. But I, I this time, I'm just going to run them down. Because, you know, I put the new ones on, they're going to look exactly the same in three or four weeks at the most. So I'm just going to run them down and put them on. Those tires aren't cheap. Or that back one is $300. Front one's two-something. So, okay, I'll post again in a month or two. To show you the new bag. But boy, if anybody knows what's causing that tire to wear like that, are they just that? Is it just design of the bike? Is is it the tire? I know it's a wider tire, but the front one's doing the same thing too, right down the center. So, all right, you guys have a good day.